Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. You ever take a look at a bottle of water and see an expiration date? That always throws me off a bit because, you know, it's it's water. I mean, what's the expiration date for water? Does the water smell weird after it goes bad? And if it does, what's bad water supposed to smell like? Anyway, your bottled water is probably still safe to consume after the expiration date, but I think I would be a little hesitant if, say, the water was a bit older than that, like 2 billion years. And that's what researchers in Canada have found a mile and a half into a mine in Timmins, Ontario, and two billion years makes this the oldest water ever discovered on Earth. The water was not embedded in rocks as many researchers would have thought. They were instead in pools and still free flowing. According to the CBC, analysis of the water revealed traces of helium, argon, neon, krypton, not the superman kind, and xenon. These gases accumulate in the water over time, allowing the researchers to calculate its age. The water also contains trace metals and salt, about eight times the amount found in seawater. Researchers hope that this ancient age to all could give us some insight to what the earth was like 2 billion years ago and could perhaps also educate us on how life might have existed at those depths. Amazingly, scientists say this water is drinkable but would probably taste horrible and it would either give you superpowers or impregnate you with ancient alien babies. Okay, they didn't say that last part, but those are the only two options that make sense to me. And speaking of water, you know how people always say drink plenty of fluids? Well, did you know that you can actually drink too much water? Water and potentially die. A woman was in the hospital to be treated for a urinary tract infection, but then developed trouble speaking, finding words, and became distracted. Doctors later found out that someone gave this woman some medical advice, told her that if she drank 16 ounces of water every half an hour, that would actually help with her infection, but this woman took it too far and drank way more than 16 ounces of water every half an hour. So it was really lucky that this woman was already in the hospital when symptoms of drinking too much water appeared, and doctors were able to save her life with treatment including restricting her fluid intake to a liter over the next 24 hours. Of course, we all know that water is great, we are made up mostly of water, and we need water to survive, so drinking a lot of water is very beneficial. But drinking too much water may also cause dangerously low levels of salt in the blood. This can occur if too much water is drunk over a short period of time. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, and headaches. In serious cases, the brain can swell, which can lead to confusion, seizures, coma, and death. A death rate of almost 30% has been reported in patients with abnormally low salt levels. Unfortunately, doctors have no idea how much water is too much. Now, like I mentioned, people have died because of this. For example, in 2007, a woman was competing in a radio station's contest to see how much water she could drink without going to the bathroom. She eventually died of water intoxication. Finally, ever wonder why nothing ever tastes as good as your mama's cooking? That might actually be true. According to a recent research study, foods that we perceive to have been made with love taste better. In this study, two groups of people ate an identical Christmas dinner. The first group had the dinner in a festive decorated room and were told that the food was specially made by the chefs using family favorites recipes. The second group ate their meals in a plain room and were not told anything about the food that they ate. Afterwards, the two groups were asked to rate the food. The first group gave the food 4.5 out of 5. The second group rated the food 3.4 out of 5. So what I got out of this study is that if you ever eat something made for you by a loved one and the food somehow doesn't taste as good as it usually does, then I, I don't know, maybe the love's gone. On the contrary, if somebody makes you a meal and it's the most horrendous, burnt spaghetti, ketchup all over the place, inedible plate of crap, then you take a bite and it tastes like heaven, y'all need to get married. Alright guys, thank you all so much for watching this video and let me know in the comments below, just because I'm curious, if somebody offered you a 2 billion year old cup of water, would you drink it? Thanks for watching, see you.